Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Nice. TNT. So, you. Uh, we haven't talked about like sex stuff in a while. Ooh. We gotta get, we gotta get an X rated on the podcast. Yeah, not, not real nasty, but. What's so your favorite I saw, position? I, I just saw. Well, that's actually, that's funny that you bring that up. Oh, my God. I, saw, I don't want to talk I, about I, this. I saw anymore. a thing on Reddit today that says. What sexual act is overrated? So I'm going to kind of go through some of the top comments so we can kind of talk about our just our feelings on these. The very first one, sex on the beach, sand. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I've never had Agreed. sex on a beach. Agreed. But only because I've heard that it is, like, the worst. Like, yeah, everyone's like, oh, sex on the beach is so romantic. Uh, sand gets in everywhere and is coarse as hell. Bruh, I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> so... I, I was trying to uh, pleasure girl orally on the beach and I got sand on my tongue. Do not, <laughs> do not recommend. Also, if you get into the water and then you get out, I don't necessarily want to put your lake water um, parts vulva in my <laughs> face. I don't because you got like lake water piss, piss people and fish. Fish poo. I'm not, no, nah, man, you gotta go take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> So that was the first one, and that right. and that's something I've never tried. And like, yeah, it sounds great, but yeah, yeah I'm good. Yeah, fair. Yeah, if you could put if you could put a fucking mattress on the sand and make sure no sand gets on it anywhere, <laughs> you're gonna take a whole air mattress with you to the beach. Hell yeah, you're gonna <laughs> blow up your air if, tubes. If that's and her your goddamn mattress? fantasy. I, I'm sure her fantasy doesn't in, doesn't include sandpaper in oh the inside of her God. vagina. So, all right, the second one. Yeah, keep going because sex I, I, in the shower. Yeah, yeah, agree. Be, and I and I've I've definitely tried and that's the key word like you try to have sex in the shower mm -hmm. it doesn't work all that well no. it says here one of you will always be cold because yep. one of you's got the water the water is always in one of your goddamn faces yep then the risk of falling of course because it's yep. there's no there's no traction in there yep water is not lubricant it is not no it and, dries out actually and and height is always an issue Yes. Yeah. So, like, the ideal is obviously you would have the 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 young lady or the the uh, bottom. Yeah. You have them bend over, and then you stand behind them, and, and then they just have like water f splashing <laughs> on their back, draining down into their face, <laughs> or splashing, es essentially waterboarding themselves for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to town. Like I have, like I like I'm gonna even throw an even hotter take out here. I'm not even a hugest fan of taking showers with my girl. I thought you were going to say showers. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, because like, okay, yeah, it's fun to get in there in the water and yeah. like whatever. But like, it, there's not a lot of room. Yeah. Like, like even that, somebody's always cold. One of y'all standing in the back like shivering. Yeah. Like, and even if you're like fooling around like with hands or like whatever, mm -hmm. it's still like you're slipping. Like, like yeah. I, I've had a girl almost fall out of the goddamn shower. I saved her life because she slipped and like almost like went out. And I was like, and, and honestly, it's like, yeah, I feel you, man. Tits enhance any experience. Yeah. Like if I was eating breakfast and you put a, you put a set of boobs in front of my face, I'm be like, this is the greatest me yeah, oatmeal meal I've ever had. And you're like, this is the best breakfast I've ever yeah. had. Yeah. If I go and watch a movie and there's boobs in the movie. Oh, it takes the movie up a full letter grade. If I'm playing a video game, there's boobs and that takes it up a full letter grade. If I sleep and I wake up and there's boobs in my face to welcome me into the day, I will wake up Dude, on the right side I of the bed every morning. Almost every woman I've ever dated that, and they, I don't think they quite understand that I'm like, listen, if you ever know that I'm having a bad day, all you have to do is show me your boobs. And my day will get better immediately. I mean, that's true, but and, and there's other like, things they could do. Well, well, right, right, right. But like, and they're, and they're like, it's funny because like, because like, I've had I've had women then be like, oh, she'll be like, said something about uh, like, God, you sound frustrated. I'm like, yeah, for sure. She's like, and they'll be like, they'll send me like a boob pic or like, like, you want to see my boobs? I'm like, hell yeah! And then literally, yeah, it makes the day better. I feel better immediately. A dopamine I'm like, <laughs> injection. <laughs> I'm just like, boobs are great. But in the shower? No, I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> Worth it. Keep your boobs to yourself. Yeah, I'll get in and get out real. Yeah. Like you know, you know what? You know what? Here, here's my. Here's where I'll compromise. You get in the shower. You wash up. Leave the water on. Oh. I'll, I'll get in. Oh. See your wet boobs. You get out. I shower. I get out. Yes. Best shower ever. <laughs> or just like have your boobs waiting when I get out of the shower. That's great. Yeah, you're you're just yeah. standing there getting ready in the mirror. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, uh, Mile High Club. I can barely even take a poo in an airplane bathroom. I have no clue how anyone has sex in one of them. I will tell you right now is that I've never used a bathroom on an airplane. 
but you've only flown a handful of times. I mean, you can. You can I you can I have that, only the only time I've ever had to go number two on an airplane <clears> is <throat> is when I went to London because I was on the plane for ten oh, hours. Yeah, and then I could see. But like otherwise, like I've had to get up and I've flown quite a bit. Like I probably percentage wise five percent of the fl flights I've been on, I've had to be like, crap, I got to go take a pee. But like, but you, you know me, I go to the bathroom all the time because mm. I drink a lot of fluids. When I go. <laughs> When I, it always says it that. does. It's true. <laughs> it's never. I have a tiny bladder. No, it's because I drink a lot of fluid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I drink man, gallons sure. of fluid a day. Okay, man, anyway, sure, I. But sure. here's how I know that's the fact. When I when I have to go to the goddamn airport, I drink the minimum amount of fluid I can put into my body to keep myself satiated, and I rarely ever have to pee at the airport. Or on a plane. Oh, this is, okay, okay. Or whatever. Fine. Your bladder's fine. Look, is it illegal <laughs> to to have sex in the I bathroom? think it is. I would think it would but be. But, like, any more, like, especially, like, the planes, most people, they're so got, how, how are you going to get two people in the bathroom without somebody noticing? The air, the stewardess sits right there. Every time I've ever went to the bathroom, there's a lady standing right there because that's the yeah. only place they have to sit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, and yeah, they make it difficult for people well, on purpose. Because well, they know a lot of people on want those to do that. bigger, like international flights, where there's like three rows of seats yeah. and aisle, there's more room on the plane to get up and walk around. That would be easier, especially if it's like two o'clock in the morning and everybody's sleeping, mm. and you and your girl, you go to the bathroom. Your girl like waits five minutes, gets up, she goes to the bathroom. Mm. But the but the, you've never been in, so you don't even understand how small they are. Like you, you're a tall guy. Like you're not a big guy. You're a tall guy. Yeah, I mean, but you Bro, can make it work. I. You I can make it work. Dude, You the floor that you have to stand on is maybe a square foot. Maybe. Yeah. Like, you can't even barely turn around to sit down on the pot anyways. You could make it. I don't it, know, man. The bravery involved. I mean, you could probably get the tip in. I don't, like. It would, I, that counts. That counts. That counts. <laughs> so as the tip is in, it counts. Yeah, I guess. I guess you're, you're in the club. Right. You get your badge. You get, you get your wings and a halo. Yeah, right. But I have to admit that I would be terrified because the exit strategy, oh. God, that's got to be the worst. Get oh, yeah, in. she walks out. She's like, you walk. Yeah, like, it's yeah. just, you don't know who's waiting outside. There could be people yeah. waiting outside yeah. the door. Yeah. I mean, I don't have much shame. Like, if like if I was, like, banging a girl in a dressing room at a store and, like, we walked out and there was, like, a line of people, I would just be like, sorry, y'all. You know, if it was me, I'm high-fiving you. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> me too. Uh, and then I'm going to snuff okay, my hand. Let me, let me ask you this. And this is, I mean, because the rest of them are kind of like, oh, pool sex and shit like that. Yeah, water Sa is Same bad. difference. Um, so if you, like, say you go, say say you hang out, like, what constitutes, like, yeah, we, we fucked? Like... <laughs> Well, let me, what? But no, like let, no. I thought let, you were gonna ask me about my worst sexual experience. No, no, no. Like so, uh, so like you 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 go out with a you go out with a girl, right? Mm -hmm. You guys fool around. Maybe like maybe like you use your hand on her. Maybe she uses her hand on you. <laughs> do you count? Do you count like any sexual activity with a woman as like yeah we we've we've done the deed? Uh, I mean, or do you have to put your penis inside of her to say that you fucked her? Jesus. <laughs> I'm just curious where you where you lay. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Once like, it, I feel like once it made an appearance and there was skin to skin contact, then uh, yeah. But I would I would specify whether it was sex or not. Um, oral sex counts as sex as far as I'm concerned. Um, so if you so if somebody but an gave HJ you a is not an HJ is not so if, sex. So if it's it'd be like so if, so if a girl went down on you, you would say yeah. You oh sex my, right? okay, I'm not talking about this. <laughs> Why is this difficult? Oh no, it makes me uncomfortable. Okay, that's fine. Look, You're I remember there was one time, Jonas. This is a quick story. I remember there was one time I met this girl, and she it was uh the middle of December uh -huh. in Pennsylvania, blizzard, snowstorm. Mm -hmm. She's like, let's go down to the lake and do it. I'm like, girl, it's freezing. She's how I'm like, I would even, I'd be afraid about not being able to get it up. It's so cold. Like, yeah. how are you gonna perform when it's freezing? And I'm like, look, I at the time I drove like a Chevy Lumina, and I'm like, look, there's oh no, I drove a Kia Sophia, and I'm six foot two, six foot, yeah, I'm six foot three, six foot two, yeah. six foot two, whatever. Tall, yeah. Either way, I'm six foot two. I'm like, there's no way that I'm going to have sex in the back of my Kia Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she's like all right let's get out i'm like it's negative three degrees outside i'm wearing a big old puffer balmy jack bomber jacket north face and you want to i was like fine let's do it 
Let us just say is that it didn't work out. It, too did, well. it wasn't the best. No, like I like I really would be like, how am I supposed to perform in this weather? It's exactly. Like, like it's just like you get out, you pull your bear skin out to the cold, and you're and you're expected to like be like, let's go, buddy. It's not. It's like <laughs> no, 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 let's get me, put me back in. I was afraid is that her juices are gonna freeze up around my D head and that's gonna rip my. <laughs> you're D able to say my D I'm head afraid off. that her juices are gonna freeze around my D head, but if you consider a BJ sex, it makes you uncomfortable. Yeah, it was too real. <laughs> Oh, okay. Like, I'm just making satirical okay, jokes. Gotcha. That's oh, fine. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Because now I can it. picture, like, her juices freezing around, frostbite taking off my D head, and me sitting there with a D headless D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. That's just funny. So, anyways, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazetown.com for Jonas. Do you think? Uh, we out.